They're just coming up now towards the mile mark. Citoyen from Buckskin, Sagaro, then Bruni taking slightly closer order on the inside. Bright finish going up on the outer, Centricon with them. And it's Citoyen and Buckskin. Buckskin taking the lead now. Buckskin going on at the seven furlong pole from Citoyen, Sagaro, Centricon, and Bright Finish making a run towards the outside. Bruni's still well in touch, although he's last. And they're coming down towards the six furlong pole now. And as they do so, it's Buckskin being pressed by Bright Finish. Then comes Sagaro, then Citoyen, then Bruni, and Centricon has been relegated to last place. And it's Buckskin now in the lead with Sagaro going into second as they come to the five furlong mark. Then Bright Finish, then Bruni close behind them. Then comes Citoyen losing ground. Centricon's dropping right out of it. And it's the old rivals now, one, two, as they race towards the home turn in the Gold Cup. It's Buckskin from Sagaro with Bruni coming there smoothly just in behind Sagaro. It's Yves Saint Martin from Leicester Pigott, then Brown Taylor in third as they race round the home turn in the Gold Cup. It's Buckskin from Sagaro and Bruni. Buckskin with a three-length advantage over Sagaro. Bruni the Grey coming there on the outside. And as they level up for home, two and a half furlongs to run in the Gold Cup now. And it's Buckskin being chased by Sagaro and Bruni coming there on the outside. It's Buckskin from Sagaro, then Bruni and Citoyen fighting our way back. Coming down past the two furlong mark now and it's Buckskin from Sagaro. Then comes Bruni, then Citoyen on the right of the picture. It's Buckskin from Sagaro. Lester Piggott looking to his left for danger. Sticks, he's got Buckskin cold. And it's Sagaro now going into the lead as they race inside the closing stages. Here comes Aston History. Sagaro is running away from Buckskin. And Citoyen as they race up towards the line. Sagaro is going to win it for the third time. But going to post home with that. At the line, Sagaro the winner from Buckskin. Second, Citoyen third. Bruni was fourth. Off and running in the Queen Elizabeth Stakes and Might and Power has been bustled out of the gate by Brian York, but he's not going to get the lead too easily. Juggler striding up on the outside and Champagne is hunting up on the fence and we've got a line of three early. Might and Power wants to over race a bit now in the run to the first corner, led by about three quarters to Juggler. Stephen King takes hold. The old boy wants to put the head up in the air in second place. Champagne is running third, followed by Dana Mora on the inside of last year's winner Intergaze and two lengths away the Doncaster winner Catlin opening, who didn't participate in the early battle. Might and Power now forges to the front, going down the back straight, led by two and a half to Juggler over racing. He's got his mouth wide open on the outside of Champagne. Three lengths away, Danamora. A half to Intergaze, pulling a bit, and a length and a half, Catlin opening, who's asleep at the tail of the field. Going up to the top turn at the 1100 mark, Might and Power led the pace as a cracker. He's two and a half in front of Juggler, who won't let him get too far away. In third place, dropping off a bit now, Champagne, the Pace is furious, followed by Danamora, a head away into Gaze and two to Catlin opening as they swing around the top turn. Coming to the crossing at the 800, Might and Power by two and a half to Juggler. Stephen King is keeping Might and Power well in his sights. Two to Champagne being niggled a bit by Greg Childs, followed by into Gaze, Danamora, and Catlin opening is now pushing between horses. He's had a lovely quiet run in the race so far. Coming to the 600 metres mark, Might and Power, two and a half to Juggler. Champagne is still there. Catlin opening getting to fourth as they near the turn and then Dana Mora into gazes under heavy pressure at the tail of the field. Might and Power leads for home. Might and Power's about six off the fence led by four lengths to Champagne getting to second. Juggler's gone. Catlin opening running on gamely but Might and Power is a mile in front coming to the 200. He's put five lengths on Champagne. He's breaking their hearts. In third place Catlin opening. Juggler really struggling but ladies and gentlemen here he is the new star of the Australian turf, might and power making them look like second raters down to the line nine lengths I'd say and they're off and Mekong has dwelt badly in the stores as they set off on their two and a half mile journey in the 2020 Gold Cup and Nayef Road on the inside just about the leader with withhold for company in the blue with the white seams, tracked in a white cap by Moonlight Spirit, Prince of Aaron is wider out and then tucking in is Stradivarius, followed by the grey technician, a gap back to cross counter. And then the slow starter, Mekong, as they race through the first two and a half furlongs and uh, approach the stands, the long run to the stands. And it's Nayef Road from Withhold. 
followed by Prince of Aaron and Stradivarius together just uh, behind Moonlight Spirit. Technician is back in sixth place in seventh then cross counter and finally Mekong. So Nayef Road and Ryan Moore setting the pace here to uh, withhold and Jason Watson in second. Moonlight Spirit, William Buick back in third place, Prince of Aaron, Melbourne Cup runner-up, Andrea Atzini in fourth place, Stradivarius bidding to win this race for the third year running in the hands of Frankie de Tour in the black jacket with the yellow cap, also bidding for a four-timer at Royal Ascot, having won the Queen's Vars in 2017. Further back is Technician under Ashim Murphy, the champion jockey. Cross counter, past Melbourne Cup winner James Doyle is second last, and last of all is Mekong and Jim Crowley. They pass in front of the stands and there's about 10 to 12 lengths first to last. Nayef Road by three quarters of a length to withhold. In third is Moonlight Spirit. In fourth, Prince of Aaron. A length and a half then to Stradivarius as the leader Nayef Road just runs a little off the fence there. Uh, behind Stradivarius Technician, and they are followed by Cross Counter and Mekong. About to pass the mile and a half starting point, the King George starting point. So they've gone a mile in the Gold Cup and racing off the rail down the centre as they make the long run downhill towards Swinley Bottom. And Nayef Road out in front, held together from Withhold in second. Two lengths away to Moonlight Spirit. Another length and a half to Prince of Aram. Three lengths then to Stradivarius, followed by Technician. And the last two are still cross counter and Mekong, but they're well strung out on the soft ground here. It's been raining all day. It's only just abated. Nayef Road and Withhold getting momentum going down the hill, and they've kicked away from the others. Moonlight Spirit is third. Then Prince of Aaron, Stradivarius must be a good 10 lengths behind the two leaders. Then Technician, followed by cross counter and Mekong. About to run now inside the final mile and into the bottom right-hand turn. And there'll be a good 15 lengths first to last. And it's Nayef Road and Withhold who continue to apply the pressure. Three lengths back to Moonlight Spirit. Prince of Aaron, Stradivarius. This is going to be a real test. Technician further back from Mekong and cross counter. Inside the final seven furlongs now. And it's pretty much uphill from here on in. And Nayef Road still off the fence from in second place, Withhold. Three lengths to Moonlight Spirit. In fourth then is Prince of Aaron. Stradivarius just getting a bit closer now up the inside of Prince of Aaron. Technician is following Stradivarius all the way. Mekong and no move from Cross Counter and James Doyle at the back of the field. They're a bit closer bunched together now. Nayef Road and Withhold still out clear but the others covered by just a handful of lengths. Headed by Moonlight Spirit in third place. Stradivarius following him through. Then out wide is Prince of Aaron. Technician and then Mekong and Cross Counter they begin to turn right-handed now with three and a half furlongs left to cover. And still Nayef Road and withhold. Chased by Moonlight Spirit. Stradivarius into fourth. And Frankie de Tori having a look round there. He's looking pretty confident as they swing the corner. And now pulling wide Stradivarius. Chased by Mekong. And then Technician and Prince of Aaron struggling. And cross counter. And out in front Nayef Road. But here comes Stradivarius absolutely cruising along. Breezing along on the bridle. In third place, Moonlight Spirit. In fourth, then is Withhold from Cross Counter. And now Frankie says go on Stradivarius. And it's an immediate response. And he quickens right away from Nayef Road. Six lengths, eight lengths. It's going to be ten lengths. He's going to absolutely street them. The best stayer in the world, Stradivarius. Three gold cups. This is racing in the car. Rockman, the Kobe D, the jumped away well. Gray's in, looked a touch slow. Eye popper began well. So did Strasbourg. The merger, Lachlan River away quickly near the inside. Portland Singer away fast down on the inside. Kamsky going over their heels and so is Lyca Falcon. Maccabi Diva going to the second half of the field but has already got over about two or three away from the rails at the very least. Franklin's Gardens wide out and Bazell with Mr Celebrity. They're all going forward as they come past the 400 the first time. He's got Maccabi Diva one off the rails. And Portland Singer has the lead early in the cup. Not going all that fast. Led from Umbula deep around Strasbourg. Mr Celebrity's out four wide. And Bazella's up about five wide. Lachlan River in behind them, followed by Eye Popper, who's well placed down to the judge. Franklin's Gardens is around the Japanese runner. One and a half further back, then Envoy on the inside of Demerger and Gray's in with distinction four deep as they leave the straight. 
Back behind these horses then is Hugs Dancer, who's outside railings, and then came Vinnie Rowe as they leave the straight from Kinjal. Then Maccabi Diva, who's on the rails now. Great piece of riding by Bossy as they leave the straight to the 2000. On his own next, followed then by Rise On, a length and a half to excellent Vouvre. Behind them is Dizel, second last then like a Falcon, and Kamsky last of all, about 1,900 left to go in the cup now. And uh, the leader is now Mr. Celebrity's gone around the field to take up the running by about a length and a half. Bazell is second, Umbula is third. A length and a half further back then came Portland Singer, being followed by Lachlan River. I Popper is next with Strasbourg over on his inside. Franklin's Gardens is out three wide. One further back is Envoy to merge at the centre and Gray's in is travelling wide past the 1600. Next is Kinjal on the inside with distinction deep around the outside. Railings in the middle. A length and a half further back, Maccabi Diva. Uh, back there in company at the 1400 with her is Vinnie Rowe and Hugs Dancer on the outside. A half a length away then on the outside of Maccabi Diva came Dizel from Honor Like a Falcon starting to make a little bit of ground on the outside of Rizon. And then excellent Kamsky and Vouvray last of all. About 1100 left to go. Mr. Celebrity is the leader by a length to Portland Singer second. One on Bula. I pop her a handy fourth the outside a length. Bazell uh, being followed at the 1000 metre mark then by Lachlan River and Strasbourg together. Next, Gray's in starting to make some ground from Envoy and further back is to Merger. Two lengths distinction. They're trailed then by Railings and Kinjal. Vinnie Rowe, Maccabi Diva still well back on the inside as they come to the turn. Followed by Dizel, Rise on, Hugs Dancer, Vouvre, Excellent and Kamsky towards the end. Like a Falcon coming around them and Franklin's Gardens has dropped out. 500 left to go, coming around the home turn now. Portland Singer got to the lead from Mr. Celebrity. I pop is running on and then Strasbourg. Back behind those horses now as they come down the straight was Vinnie Rowe and back behind them. Here's Maccabi Diva. A nation roars for a hero. She's starting to wind up. 300 left to go now. Maccabi Diva's racing up. Envoy's trying to go with her. They've got to Portland Singer and Lachlan River. Here comes like a Falcon and excellent. But Maccabi Diva clear with 100 metres to go. Excellent runs to second. Olajun runs on. But a champion becomes a legend. Maccabi Diva has won it. Hindu Kush is out very quickly and is going to adopt the front running role. Centennial niggled along to chase. Yates quickly drops in just behind the leader. Just kept a little wider in the early stages is Veracity. Uh, they're being tracked by the red cap of Sagara towards the inside. Patkai hasn't settled very well and uh, notably Frankie Dottori is keeping Veracity wide of the other runners through the first few furlongs. Washington Irving on the outside of Geordie Land and Eastern Anthem in the noseband is last of all. So Hindu Kush leading from out a little deeper, Veracity with Yates disputing second place in the darker blue jacket. Centennial is on the fence in yellow and red just ahead of 
Christoph Sagara in the red cap. Pat Kai still quite keen in sixth place ahead of Washington Irving. Geordie Landon still Eastern Anthem is at the rear of the field. So Hindu Kush continuing to lead. Yates has moved off outside the leader to ensure that uh, not being able to be pocketed by Veracity, who's still racing a little wide as they continue to make their way up the straight for the first time. Centennial comes next ahead of Sagara. Then towards the inside, the white face pale colours of Pat Kai, Washington Irving, the grey Geordie Land and Eastern Anthem. So Hindu Kush uh, racing up past the grandstands in the grey colours. Yates in the centre of the leading trio. Veracity is out wider, the blue colours with the white face. Centennial comes next. Behind these we have Sagara. Pat Kai is in sixth place from Washington Irving, Geordie Land and last of all is Eastern Anthem. And now Veracity is going to cross Yates and move through to sit second outside Hindu Kush. So Hindu Kush begins the turn down towards the final mile and a half, leading by about a length and a half from Veracity in second. Yates is now positioned on the outside of Centennial. They dispute third place. Sagara is in fifth ahead of Pat Kai, who's half a length away on the inside. Then in seventh is Washington Irving. No move yet from Geordie Land, who will play his cards late. And Eastern Anthem is last of all. So they're running downhill. And out in front, Hindu Kush setting an even pace from Veracity in second place on the outside. Centennial on the inner of Yates. Those two dispute third position. Pat Kai's partner is Sagara. And still two by two, we find Geordie Land on the inside of Washington Irving. And at the rear of the field is Eastern Anthem. So down the side of the course, there's been a little change in the order. It is no more than an even pace. Hindu Kush with Veracity passive outside the leader in second place. Centennial comes next with Yates. They've disputed third for the last half mile. Pat Kai continues to race keenly. Further indication, it's not a frenetic gallop. Cigar is in sixth. Geordie Land has moved past Washington Irving and still at the rear of the field is Eastern Anthem. So they're turning at the far end. We're inside the final mile or so of the Gold Cup and out in front we still have Hindu Kush who's made every yard of the running. Veracity's continued to race in second. Yates on the outside of Centennial then Pat Kai and the red cap of Sagara. Geordie Land, Eastern and Anthem's now relegated Washington Irving to be the back marker as they make their way up with six furlongs to travel. Hindu Kush with Veracity moving up a little more menacingly now and Yates covering Veracity's move to improve three wide. Centennial comes next. Behind these, Sagara and Pat Kai. Washington Irving has dropped away very tamely. So Veracity moving now to take up the lead for the first time. Yates, Johnny Murta just niggling along in second place. Centennial is back in third. Then comes in fourth place, fifth place, Sagara from Pat Kai and Geordie Land. Yates joins issue off the home bend and mixes it with Veracity and moves to the front for the first time. Centennial out of the pack. Pat Kai and Geordie Land are waiting in the wings. So the man who wears the crown, Yates, kicks for one final thrust up the Ascot straight in the Gold Cup. He found four lengths. Pat Kai and Geordie Land are yet to play their hands, but Yates got first run. Can he cling on and make history? He leads by four lengths from Pat Kai. Then Sagara back in fourth place. Place is Geordie Land. Yates leads by three, entering the final furlong. Pat Guy in second, Eastern Anthem out wide. It's Yates trying to hold on and make history from Pat Guy. 150 yards to go, and Yates is not for catching. All class, one of the greatest stayers of all time, one of the greatest training performances of all time. Four Gold Cups for Yates.